guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Seeking Sovngarde. As Goldair approaches, Lucia looks out towards Solitude. And I think that was a pretty awesome little flip that Goldair did there, so congratulations buddy, that was uh, not so bad. But as stated in the last episode, today's episode, for better or for worse, will be the final for Lucia. Let's hope she can succeed. And Goldair, what, what, what are you doing there? <laughs> I, I'm imagining he is helping Lucia stay warm by brushing the flames on her back. Well, that's something. We do seem to be getting really cold, so let's hurry up and dive on in. All right, we could very well die of cold, so we are going to need to get ourselves inside. And I see that you've decided to stop for the time being. That I'm okay with, my friend. The driver's there. Hopefully he won't notice our torch. Let's move on by. You might not be expecting anything unusual. Yeah, we're freezing now. Is there anyone up here? No, there isn't. But what we might need to do, just for the time being, to survive, is see if we can get a fireplace down. Alright. Let's go ahead and get that placed if we can. There we go. That will do for now. We'll see if we can get anything going here. Um, doesn't look like it, really. We don't have much at all. Just some branches would be great. Goldair, let's see. I'm sure you have something on you for us. Sure to put it to good, use. good, okay. Now let's have a look at your misc. Uh, you've got dead wood. Okay, so we should be able to make some kindling here and that should be able to save us. Let's have a look. Okay, let's go ahead and make ourselves some kindling from that dead wood. We should be able to get this fire going and get ourselves warm. Difficult on current conditions, okay. Somewhat challenging sounds nice, so let's go for that. Okay. Here we go. Any moment now. When we've got smoke. And we have a fire. Fan friggin' tastic. Okay, so yeah, we need more kindling to get it going, so let's go ahead and get two more lots if we can. Just to make sure that we're going to warm ourselves up nicely. This is going to be a three hours of uh, of heat. So we'll make sure that we get ourselves warmed up and gold air you too. I am going to be quick saving periodically throughout this episode because, uh, well, I just think we're going to need to. And I won't stay crouched for now. You can, you can sit by that if you want to, my friend. We need to wait here for a moment. Take our time. You can't quite make up your mind, can you? I don't blame you, it is dangerous outside. And in my haste to get started today, I've actually forgotten once again to uh, change our field of view. So we're just going to do that real quick, because we can. And I will have a look out there and see what we can see. We are beginning to warm up. You see that there are torches out there. Torches and lanterns alike. If the guards come, if the guards see us and there is a guard out there, we are going to have to remove them. Because they are protecting Manos. And it's quite a long shot to hit him from all the way over here. But we are going to try, and I think we're actually just going to have to drop that extra deadwood for now. We should be looking okay. Yeah, we're looking fine. Okay, that's better. Alright. Here we go. Wow, I cannot see anything at all with this goddamn scope being lit up. I think it might have got his attention. Okay, guard is down. Let's see if any others come. There is light. It could be the torch just rolling down. I think that's actually what's happening. I think that might just be his torch rolling. Hmm. Well, we will be getting to move. We'll get, at least getting ready to move. 
I think we must be doing okay. Let's have a look. Um, it's going to be under... What is it going to be under, actually? I'm trying to remember now. Hmm. It's been a while since I've checked our condition. Not sense direction. Weather sense? Ah, yeah, just weather sense. Let's do that. I am warm. Okay, we're warm. Good. Warm is good. We'll take that for now. And we can always come back here if we need to, but that rain is going to, uh, is going to drench us, unfortunately. Let's see, we should, yeah, we're gonna have Battle Cry ready, just in case things go really bad for us, but we're gonna start making our way down this tower towards the town. Civilians, maybe. Now, the civilians, I think, in Lucia's eyes, might be forgiven. Or at least we can pass them by, but the guards, we just can't take a risk. Khajiit. It's okay. We're friends. We're here to bring an end to this. We hit the weak spot. We hit the weak spot. <laughs> oh. We are hearing noise inside. And that noise could be a number of things. Could be someone noticing perhaps that this guard has been taken down, or could be the dead stirring. It's entirely possible. And I believe we are seeing some dead by the gate. So let's continue to move up. There might be others on the walls. Yep. I think they're uh, running to issues of their own. Okay. Let's see if we can use this wall to our advantage. One down. Where'd you go? I see you. Damn. Too high. There we go. Okay. We've listened them for now, Goldir. Let's start to move up. Need to keep our bows ready. Shoot. So far, so good. Storm Cloak Lover. Okay. There must be some of them still alive inside. Let's see if he has any arrows. He does. We're gonna need them. Let's actually make sure that we're using those steel arrows now. We are. Good. Okay. We're gonna be going inside. I hope you're ready for this. Oh, now I know what they're calling about. But I wonder if that's gonna be happening or not. Somehow, I think the little execution might be interrupted. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, buddy, I'm with you. Shoot. Okay, okay, not zombies, but still a problem. Where are you going? Please come back. Thank you. All right, okay, let's do this Jason the Argonaut style. Uh, that would help if we don't miss them, though. Golder, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Hang in there. I don't know if I'd say that was easy. It was something. Okay. Watch yourself. Shoot. All right. Use stealth if I can. Uh, not really an option. Not really an option here at all. Okay. We can um, take him down if we can. We've got two others. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Nope. 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 You keep your damn dirty ice magic away from me. And we're going to try and get some distance. Yeah. I don't like the looks of this. Goldair, distract them if you can. Come on. Damn it. Nope, 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 nope. Backing off, backing off, backing off. They're slowing us down. Shoot. Just keep your distance, Lucia. Come on. All right, we're kind of backed in here. Use what defensive positioning we can. Come on. We're going to need your help here, Goldair. Yes! 
that is what I'm talking about. I, I was definitely necessary. And you know what? We are definitely going to put one of those in there now. Let's see what we can find on them. Just swords. And that's all. Well, we survived so far, and we are seeing people still running amongst the streets. Children, by the looks of things. And uh, children we aren't going to pick a fight with, my friend. They are not our enemy today. Now remember, there is a chance that Manos might be using illusions to trick us. I imagine that would be in his bag of skills. So... We have to expect the unexpected. The question is, where will he be holding himself up? It's got to be the Blue Palace, right? What do we do about the townsfolk? I said they weren't our enemy. Unless they're... We've got an Imperial Legionnaire there. Okay, they got others. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, that's giant. Okay. <laughs> you see, Manos still has some friends. They're in a daze. Well, we aren't going to stop, but we might be able to help them out. Even if they are in a daze. That giant. That giant needs to die. Shoot, okay, okay, yeah, he's doing some, he, he's doing some damage up there. Holy crap, okay. Um, you might want to go and help your friends. If we can get a, if we can get a shot, we'll take it, but. We aren't going to go chasing giants. Not when our gold is as dangerous as he is. Okay. I don't know where the giant's gone or if he's been killed, but I'm not hearing any noise from him. We're getting chilly as well. And I don't like that. Oh. Okay. Alright. I'm going to take a shot, and then we move in. Okay, they're actually doing nothing. Hello? Okay. Alright. Well, it would seem that he doesn't actually have control, to some degree. Either that, or his focus is elsewhere. I haven't seen that before. I gotta hope it's, uh, well, I want a fair fight. <laughs> I do want a fair fight, but I will take small victories where we can get them. And I'm pretty sure that isn't thunder we were hearing. I feel like the conscience is... Well, at least Lucia's conscience is going to get the better of her. The giant is still up there. We might still be able to help. We're fatigued as well, which isn't going to help us. Okay, yeah, we're seeing blood. But we are seeing some kind of light coming through the storm. Okay, hello? It's dead. Holy shit. Okay, no, 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 no. There's... Okay, there is more than one. There is more than one. You might want to stay back, buddy. They've killed some of them. Well, Mr. Legionnaire, we're going to help you out if we can. And I think we might have just got their attention. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Right in the throat. Come on. Stagger him. Damn, Lucia. Right in the head. That's how we do it. Come on. Yeah, no need to thank me. It's fine. But that's the, uh... That was the thundering we were hearing. Even the blacksmith has managed to survive. Yeah, they're, uh, they're in a glaze. Well, a glaze, a daze. 
a bit of both. But as giants are dead, we didn't have to do all the killing. I'm certainly on board with that. I think the sun might be setting, or is it rising on us now? Either way, we've got to continue. Question is, do we try and find warmth? We are fatigued. I don't know if we want to hold off the assault or not. Bones. There's something here. Okay. We'll stay quiet for now if we can. Okay. Where are you off to? Damn it, children. I really don't think this is the right time to be playing. The streets are empty. Nope. There is something there. Someone. What are you fighting? Oh shoot, okay, alright. Looks like they might have had some kind of an ambush planned. But uh, it's not gonna work anymore. Especially when we're able to ambush the ambushes. Okay. I'm gonna have to thank our friend there. Looks like she might have helped us out. Among others- oh shit! Okay, yes there is! Behind you! It's okay, I got him. You're okay for now. But there's a high chance there could be others waiting. He's getting desperate. And nervous. You look... utterly calm. One of the guards didn't make it. Archers. Quite a few of them didn't make it. They tried to fight back. Shoot. Yeah. A lot of them didn't make it. His own subjects. Maybe people that actually served them, you know, without the need of illusions or concoctions. Damn it. Okay. For now. I don't know if there's going to be anyone in here at all. It looks like most of them rushed outside, and if there are, I imagine you're probably unaware as to what's going on outside. The Bard's College. I'm the headmaster Hi. How can I help you? Um, we're fine, actually. We're just getting out of the rain. May song speed you along. Yeah. Thanks. And we're dripping all over his uh, clean floor. He is definitely unaware to what's going outside. He hasn't heard the giants or anything. We can take a moment. No longer than that. There's no fireplace here. And they're all asleep. Okay. It must be the morning. Yeah. We're getting towards. Well, we aren't wet for the time being, but it's still going to be raining outside. Still, I think the longer we wait, the worse. Okay, I think it's probably about time. Actually, sorry, it's the evening. All right, well, we did see that now. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to ignore it. But I think going into this final battle, and I'm assuming we're going to be going to the final battle here. I, I say assuming. I, I have set up certain things for today's episode. Uh, it's the only way to make it, uh, you know, possible. Uh, I can't leave it all up to chance. But uh, Manos, Manos is here, and we shall face him. We've managed to... A Whoa. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A crew? Like, uh... I, it's got out of my head for now. It's completely gone. But we've managed to collect a large number of scrolls. And I have no idea 
whether these are going to work to help us out. Obviously, Blizzard was good in the past. In saying this, though, I don't think Blizzard is going to help us against Manos. Call to Arms could help, potentially. Let's see. Targets have improved combat skill, health, and stamina for 10 minutes. That could actually be good for us to use on Goldair. I think we will be calling this Storm Atronach as well, or Atronach, Nock, Atronach, I think is how we meant to say it. Scroll of Harmony, I don't think that that's going to happen for us. Scroll of Hysteria, maybe, but Mass Paralysis, that might actually work. But there is a chance that uh, he might be able to resist it. However, 10 minutes. I think that we can probably use this now. Hope you're ready, buddy. Here we go. And all the bards, too. Okay, well, that's something. <laughs> and I think that might have actually even affected us as well. There is a chance. There is a chance. Okay, so we do want to have others ready and rearing to go, but I think for now we do want to make sure that we've actually got Ghost Blade as our sidearm. Let's have something to drink and head back outside. Well, it's still raging outside. I believe he must know. Know that we're on our way now. Are there any more ambushes? Was that? I felt like that was a rumbling. There's someone down there. Who? And someone's running. Okay, all right. I think it might be now. Now might be the hour. And if it is, we need to make sure that we have a poison strong enough to fight whatever it is that's in there. I gotta hope that that's gonna do something with me, gold there. Oh, okay. We've got something risen. Oh, okay, 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 whoa! Jumping, 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 getting away. I will run from that. Because that, guys and gals, that thing, that is Manos. <sighs> what remains of him? And Goldair is fighting him in hand-to-hand -hand combat because he's being a friggin' boss. Okay, all right. If we're gonna do this now, let's try. Come on, come on, come on! Damn it! Now! I don't even know if that worked. Okay, maybe not. It's time for the big guns then. Okay. We're gonna need help. All the help we can muster. Help me, Atronach. Is that him there? I can't see. I can't see through it. Goldie is running. There, in the corner. You did it. He did it. A pile of... Well done, and thank you. Well, maybe it wasn't Lucia that was destined to kill him. Maybe she was destined to bring together those necessary to do it. You wouldn't have been able to do that without you, my friend. We landed a few shots, but it was you that got the killing blow. And that's what counts. He's changed. In the years, he's no longer human. A lich. Honestly, this was the best representation, I feel, for Manos. And this thing is strong. I have tested it before. If we got hit but once, 
would have been over. But that spell, that scroll, that kept him going. And with the Atronach, it made the difference. I believe others were attacking him. This guard here, who's now just a pile of ash beneath him. I don't suppose he will have anything of significance for us. The Staff of Worms. <sighs> of course he would. It makes sense. We'll take it. But... Not to use it. But rather to be rid of it. For good. Your king is dead. I hope you'll be able to rejoice. Perhaps for the first time the people of Solitude have that cloud lifted. The same cloud that once hovered over Lucia. They have done the unthinkable. And she's actually succeeded in her goal. I didn't think we were going to be able to make it through here today. For more reasons than just Manos and his army. But not everyone did. Not all of the people of Solitude have survived. But these two have. Alright. It's not a very big hole. But I think we might be able to make it work. It's not exactly Mount Doom. But it will have to do for us. We don't want this thing anywhere near here. We want it gone. For good. So. <laughs> Nearly there. Oh dear. You got this, Lucia. The final test, the final task. Good riddance. <laughs> I'm sorry. So anticlimactic. Let's see. One more. Oh, come on. Tell me it's just going to go through it. It's going to go through it. Of course it is. <laughs> can we? Can we actually throw this through here? I hope we can. It doesn't seem like there is a way to. Not easily, it would seem. And perhaps they've done that for a reason. Perhaps it's a, a choice that Howard and the others have made. <laughs> it seems to be the case. God damn it. We can't even have a moment, can we? No, we can't. Well, we'll have to find another way. Hmm. the walls then. And they've got a lot of work to do. And we're starting to freeze, so we need to make this quick. Come on then. No sovereign guard for us today. No sir. Damn. Looks like they've actually cleared up some of the dead. No, some of the giants are still here. They might be collecting them. I want to get this thing to where it's not going to be found again. And there doesn't seem to be any easy way to do that from here. We might be in luck on this side. But there we are. Finally, that'll work for us. Oh, of course. It's an invisible wall here as well, isn't it? Well, here will be the spot that we do symbolically cast off the Staff of Worms. And as Lucia casts the Staff of Worms off of solitude into the ocean below, this brings about the end of her tale. She has come far from being the small girl in Whiterun, the survivor of a massacre. She learned from her would-be mother, learned how to survive, how to kill, and she did plenty of that. 
Lucia's Tale was much more story driven than some of the other uh, survival series that we've done so far with Seeking Sovngarde. And I hope you enjoyed that change of pace. As you'll know, this is not the end of Seeking Sovngarde. Whenever a character dies or completes their goal, we move on to a new character. All we have so far. Many of you know the original purpose of Seeking Sovngarde was for me to test out and see how far it could push Skyrim Special Edition, and it seems we can push it quite far before it reaches the breaking point, and I feel like we kind of reached that with Lucia. So I pose the question to you, the question now popping up in the top right hand side of your screen. Should we continue with Seeking Sovngarde in the format it's currently in, or would you like to see a new roleplay series set in Skyrim made with Special Edition that revolves around a member of the Dark Brotherhood? It is a roleplay series that I have teased for a while, and it is one that will be taking place in the world of Leonidas. I ask you all this question because in an ideal world where I had 72 hours a day, I would be able to make both Seeking Sovngarde and this other roleplay, but at the moment in terms of scheduling there is only room for one, so let your voice be heard and do vote please. Many gave their lives today, but these lives will be given back in turn. If we do continue with Seeking Sovngarde, we will be going back in time. We will be rewinding those 10 years, and the horrors of Manos will be undone. So, no more zombies and not as many necromancers as we've had this time round. But the creature that Lucia and Golder fought today, that was a shell of what Manos once was. The man, it would seem, died some time ago, and the lich that remained, well, while powerful, was not strong enough. The fates had their way with him, and now Solitude and Skyrim is free from his menace. The Halls of Sovereign Guard will be celebrating this eve, but today is not the day for Lucia to retire to those halls. There is a life still left ahead for her, a life away from this killing, a life of peace. Thank you all again for supporting this series and watching along with me. I have been Rykon. This has been Lucia, the survivor, and Goldir, the brave. You have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned. <laughs>